This month is very special month. Most people know uh, when Buddha has passed away after many years, the one person whose name is Ayadeva. You know Ayadeva? How is Ayadeva? Ayadeva. Oh, the same name? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before his Ayadeva, his name is Robert Taya. He was born to India, uh, some rich family. The mother is Buddhism, she has very fair Buddha, but father is not Buddhism. Also, anyway, I work on another name. Yeah. He born there, then he's very smart. Then he refuge for Wanshu. Wanshu, right? Wanshu. Wanshu. Yeah, Wanshu. Ishwara. Ishwara. And he's very smart, very smart, not just you know, a regular person, he's a very smart guy. Then he, anyway, wants you, he, he wants you, he, in meditation, he do something, though. anyway, wants you, he can talk to each other. And wants you, say, what do you want? He told him, I want to, okay, show him. Shokan Deva. Huh. So he said, Shokan Nabal Deva. He said, I went to all the war. Can you tell me? Sure. I want to go to no, all no, the war. I went to when? 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 I want to win all of the war. Then he said, okay, I will give you blessing, I will help you, whatever you want. Then he debate, you know, also non-Buddhism, there are many different kinds, he debate all of them. If he, somebody doesn't believe, he disturb or some he kill. Also Buddhism, then also around him, he kill all of them, he, you know, somebody go away, anyway, anyway they give, give up. Otherwise he's very smart, he 
cannot live there, comfortable, uncomfortable, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Then he go back to mom. Mom said, "What do you do?" He said, "I went to all the, you know, world, all religions, all you know, in India." So I said, "Hi." Oh, she said, "Oh, I you know did this, 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 this." He said, "Oh, do you know that you just went some also Buddhism in a." Your area, this is just little small lake, you know, water lake, lake, lake. lake. Yeah. And the real ocean Buddhism is uh, in uh, Malanda. If you really went there, then you are really went. She, 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 her motivation is maybe she go, he go there, then maybe he lost, then he become Buddhism. Also, he, she pray for Tara. Then he said, oh, he, he has very strong ego. He said, oh, of course I went. I refuge for Onshu. Even, you know, Onshu. Where's Onshu? Onshu is Ishvara. Right. Oh, which is God. Yeah, God, God. Yes. He's God. Right. Then also he sent some helpers for, for him. Hey, God. Hey, God. No, God. Ishvara, God. Yeah, Ishvara. No, but he does. Ishvara. No, he Okay, Ishwara. okay, Ishwara. Anyway, Ishwara. then he has a very strong ego. He has a oh, if, if I'm not almost lost, but I have behind me, you know, want you, he help me. Then he immediately he go to uh, what do you call it? Uh, Nalanda. Nalanda. Then, you know, everybody, all the monks, they have a lot of, you know, Pentutas, very large scholars. You know, Pentuta is what? Pentita. The same. And Peter. Same. Peter. Oh. <laughs> then everybody will be scared, you know. Then he said, I'm the come to here. I want to debate all, you know, your Buddhism. If you lost, all your Buddhism come to my religion. If I lost, I'm come to your religion. Re religion? Religion. Yeah. Then everybody will be scared. Then he stopped that in a drawer. He sleep there, he cannot, people cannot go out, people cannot get, go in. Then the monks are very scared. Then they do maybe a little <coughs> discussion, a little maybe meeting. They say, oh, what are we doing now? Then there's a, in the South India, then Nagarjuna, how is it? Nagarjuna. Yeah, the, uh, Nagarjuna and his main disciple, Aryadeva. Yeah. If, if, Either they're coming, they can win. Otherwise, we cannot win this. Ari Deva, I thought the story is about Ari Deva. But his father. Okay. The, who, who is debating in Nalanda? Yeah. Who is Ishwara's uh, Wong Chuk's? The Lovantayan. Lovantayan. So yeah. this is called uh, Ashva Gosha, I think. Yeah. Oh, Ashva Gosha. Gosha. So this yeah. is so the one yeah. who wrote the 50 verses. And so Asa, I don't know if it's the same guy, it, but uh, Tayong. I think Ta is like horse, right? Yeah, horse. Yeah. Yeah. Ashva really Gosha, Tayong. Yeah. yeah. This is a, before he become Buddhism, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and it's his mom who prayed to Tara? <coughs> yeah, yeah, his mom. Yeah. He's not Buddhism, he wants to all destroy okay. all the monsters. Can, is everyone getting the story so far? No, can you recap it? Okay, <laughs> sorry, just a minute. I will re re say it shortly. Yeah, okay. So there was a, 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 I guess, you know, for lack of a better term, there was a Hindu uh, devotee in India at the time of Aryadeva and Nagarjuna who had a special relationship with Ishvara, with God, and he asked for the power to be able to defeat anybody from any religion in debate. So he went around his region and beat everybody. And then his mother issued him the challenge to go to Nalanda, which is the greatest seat of Buddhist learning at the time in India. So he went to Nalanda and kind of terrorized the monks there by saying like, you know, if you don't defeat me in debate, then you all have to, you know, convert to my religion. And if you do defeat me, I'll convert to your religion. So then they didn't know what to do in order to defeat this guy because he's very, very good at debate. So they thought there are these two very famous scholars that are unparalleled that live in South India, Nagarjuna and Aryadeva. So they decided to send for one of them to come debate the guy. Then the Nalendra, the monks, uh, too. One monk at gym, they can pray to what is it? Gombo. The protector. Protector. yeah. protectors. If you protect, I think Gombo, I don't know, anyway. The Mahakala or something. Yeah. 
if you protect her or pray for him, then he will be helped to and how we do something. Then everybody do write some letters, they put the you know, statues in here, then everybody do pray. Then there are one uh, bird come from the statue, you know, this is, you know the statue. Then they hold because that is in a letter, hold then they fly to South India. Then he gives the letter for Nagajuna and this uh Ayadewa. Then there's oh now some they is called Ovataya, this small guy, he wants to destroy all them. Then we have to go. Then the Nagajuna said, I have to go there, then then Ayadewa said, maybe, maybe not. I have to go, maybe I can do it. Then, okay, I will check. We, <laughs> we, we debate. Then we de debate. First, I want to check you, how you went or not. Then they debate. Then Nagarjuna said, oh, yeah. ah, you can go. <laughs> Smart guy. <laughs> During that time, then uh, I endeavor he go on the way. There's some, some beggars uh, want to be his eye. Then he give. With one eye. Yeah, so. Well, who's the Vyagarama? Yeah, yeah the, he. Aryadeva and Nagarjuna are both like great bodhisattvas yeah. also. So on the way, Aryadeva met a beggar who asked him for his eye. And this is a common thing that happened back in the old days in India. I guess people saw like the Buddhist, you know, bodhisattva practitioners and will ask them for <laughs> something that's impossible to give. So someone asked him for his eye. Then he gave eyes, then was a big... Just one eye, right? I think I have one eye, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he gave one eye, now he have just one eye, but he had a very strong motivation, very good, you know, very cheddar, then all Buddha's <coughs> Buddhist Sabha was very happy, guards, you know, big... How is that? Sayova. Uh, Sayova. There was an earthquake? <laughs> I don't know. The no, earth, no. the earth yeah. shake, shook? I don't know if this is true or not, and I mean, it's better for this, you know. And it's a very special garden, uh, Zema, you want to say? Yeah, there were signs, yeah, there signs. were indications that it was approved, so. Anyway, this, then he went to the Nalidra. Now we can do long, we sure, okay? That can do long. During that, he said, this month, anyway, this month. Then they have to debate. All the then everybody you know very what's a surprise very smart the non Buddhism you want to Tibet then also his what's a against all we say confirming that South India very smart then all the in India the scholars they come they want to listen they want to see then all the there have some role the kings every king is each day the sponsor to the Tibet then. Then the kings stay, one one side the Ayanda, one side the Lohan Taya, then kings all stay you know, in the road, then walk out. They want to go to the same, same place, then they check, they want to check, you know, what we call George. Yeah. Who's, who's Venom, who's the last? Is it George? Yeah, George. Judge. Judge. They judge. want to judge the competition. So. Then during that time, now we do a little more sure. Anyway, that time, then he, they debate. Then I think address the loss of Sepa Chimney, Sepa Chunga Kajita, the Tanelta, Dawa de Esroa, and Kutu Tripita, Mamma Bocene, and the Royal Tiles at the Shuma Pam. Pam, the Niko, Tanaloe, I am able to Sunday, and the Nanada Pedro or Sushu Showers, Pedacan. Lovely people. Yeah, yeah. They debated for, I don't know, with what day from the tenth until the from the first until the eighth of that month, I guess. Um, they debated back and forth, and then eventually, uh, Su Tayang. Tayang lost. Yeah, yeah. So Tayang lost, and then Aryadeva actually uh, tossed him into the library at Nalanda and locked the door and took the key away, so he was trapped inside the library. First, you know, he, you know, angry, you know, he's living in a slip. 
Then, but he, he doesn't want to steal all time. Then he tried, he wanted to read the book. Then he saw the Buddha's, Buddha no temple, how is that, no? Yeah, yeah, he saw the prophecy of the Buddha in one of the books. Then he said, oh, this kind of some person, you know, him, they come, then they Tibet, they become Buddhism, and all things in that. Then he said, oh. Then he had very strong faith Buddhism. Then he became Buddhism. He and read the story of yeah, himself, story. basically, <laughs> like yeah. in a Buddhist book prophesied you know, yeah. long ago. <laughs> <laughs> then he became very really good Buddhist. His name is Roy uh, Powell. Yeah. He's one of the main students. Yeah. Oh. Then so he went to the Buddhist school. Yeah. 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 So he became a student of Nagarjuna. Yeah. And then took the name Arya Sura, I think Paulo is Arya Sura. Anyway, then he wrote uh, to Kerap Sorshipa. Yeah, yeah. So the story of Buddha. Yeah, yeah. The um, uh, Buddha Charita, the life story of the Buddha. It's a very famous poem. Yeah. This is then even the even even the Rana in Tibetan the the monastery or you know, the study too. Mm -hmm. They do the puja, you know, monum, we do monum after losa. Mm -hmm. Then during the losa time, the abbot had to teach this care of uh, So the, uh, even today, they when they do losar and they have the great prayer festival, <coughs> excuse me, um, the abbot of the monastery still teaches this text, which was written by Ashwagosha after he had been converted to Buddhism. Um, it's a very very, very long uh, poetic rendering of the life of Buddha. <laughs> Yeah. So by by reading that uh, text after the Mulan festival around Losar time, it creates some imprint in the mind of the hearer, of the student. But this story is very long, but yeah. I'm not sure, okay? It's really long. Yeah. <laughs> also, very interesting, very interesting story for Buddha to build, build the life. Not, not, not Buddha Shachamani, he really become Buddha. He built the life. You know, what he did, what happened, how he did benefit for others and some things, you know. So, so Jatagas. Yeah, the Jatagas. So it's actually, I think the text he's talking about, I'm wrong, it's not the life story of the Buddha, is it? It's the Jatakamala of Aryasura. So th this is confusing, I'm sorry, to me as a scholar. There are two people, Ashvagosha Tayong and Aryasura, who Tibetans take to be one person, but other people take to be separate. Anyway, some te texts exist under the title, or under the authorship of Aryasura, and others under the authorship of Ashvagosha, and whether they are the same person or not, I'm not sure. But actually, he's talking about the Jatakamala of Aryasura, which is a, a huge collection of stories about Buddha's previous lives, counting 500 lives, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, 500 good ones and 500 bad ones. 500 good and 500 bad ones. Okay. <laughs> So Losar isn't finished just on the day of Losar. There are some events that continue for from the first day until Tirik. Until the, the 16th day, um, in which various things are done. Uh, and this, this uh, custom of the Mung, <coughs> the prayer festival, the continuation over many days, was founded by uh, Tsongkhapa. Yeah. 
Да, он уже сам могу ставить, да, на нас уйти. Тогда не кабляйте, собственно, гева человина. Yeah, so at this time we can accumulate a, a huge uh, amount of virtue uh, or, or amount of merit. We can accumulate a huge amount of merit and uh, it's a good time to practice virtue. Он я лалак чуба пива, матромбуля чуба дама, кальчили, да, гева лапчубу ставить. Я лалак. Я лалак. Okay, anyway, so the Buddha's praying or are we praying? Buddha's, you know, Buddha's, 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 Buddha's
It is a weapon to defeat your enemy, your blind minds to all things. It is your best friend who instructs you on the means. It is a relative who will not desert you when you are poor. It is a medicine against sorrow that does you no harm. It is the best time to force to be against your disease. It is also the most dreadful thing for the Lord. You could have no better talent than the need of the Lord tonight. It pleases the scholars and the guests. Okay. They must have changed the words. Yeah, this, this, this is definitely edited. <laughs> yeah. It's a little edit. To be, to yeah, it's, it's been revised. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what you do. Everybody got <coughs> what's the meaning of the, the word? Do you want to take a look? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so this is about uh, the meaning of the word. They say literally um, listening, <laughs> listening, but by that they, they mean actually studying. And the two bajana, two big, two book, that the message is. Yeah, so. I'm so, going through the text right now, you can yeah. also follow. So he's going through the verse here. So the first one is that uh, studying is actually the lamp that dispels darkness. Also, you can, you can follow that text after the say, quotation, then we go continue just I'll go into it. Yeah. Okay. So and this is the, the, underneath the verse, I think what he's trying to say. Yeah. Underneath the first quotation, there is a bit of commentary, which yeah, is okay. commentary on the verse, which he's going through now. Okay. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah the, the alphabet, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, his own lama, I guess the author here, uh, told him that when you know, I guess this is the line just underneath, yeah. my own precious guru told me that when you know only one letter of the alphabet, you have rid yourself of your darkness concerning it. So what he said, what Geshe-la said was, when you know the letter Ka, which is like A, the first letter of the alphabet, basically, when you know that letter, then you're no longer in the dark concerning that letter. Okay. So. Then you, you know this uh, 26 alphabets. Mm -hmm. Then you have not ignorance and number. <coughs> but also you get more 26 uh, wisdom, correct? Yeah. So you have e each, each bit of knowledge that dispels some darkness over something. You can also count that as a particular type of wisdom that comes from learning that thing. Tuba Machina, bigger than maybe that cup, Pugula, 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 Donkey, right? Yeah, Donkey. Donkey. That's all they've done. They've got a cup, Pugula, Tuba Machina, Cup, Pugula, Tushin, Mars. Without any study. Without any study. Without any study, even they Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigger than monkey. Yeah. So he's, he's saying that there's a line, a couple of lines down. Yeah. Uh, without any study, uh, we would not be able to recognize the letter A, the letter A, even if it was as large as a donkey's head. <laughs> so. This is true, right? If you don't study, we don't work, we don't know anything. If you have a good thing, bad thing, business, a nuclear weapon, whatever you want, you have to study, right? If what you have good things, bad things, whatever you want, study is more important. Then up and Rangi Pun, Rangi Pun, my brother. Yeah, okay. So, um, just think about the people in your family who know nothing at all, and you will understand my point. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, he's saying, like, uh, my, my brother in uh, my house, we are born simpler than that. I'm not saying I'm good than that. <laughs> he doesn't know any letters. He will give it bigger than donkey's head. He doesn't know because like he doesn't study. Also, he doesn't have opportunity to study. Your brother in nomad life? Yeah, yeah, they don't know. This is all my... That's what the world was. That's what the world was. So you need the you need study in order to, uh, or 
if you don't have study, without study, you won't be able to dispel the darkness of ignorance. You don't think one too, too much yeah, yeah. Uh, the amount of ignorance you manage to rid yourself of similarly depends on how much study you have done. Yeah, and then shut up change your orders, shut up mind orders. Yeah, and uh, the light of your wisdom has grown proportionally. Yeah, so then there's this quotation in the sayings of the Buddha we find, Though a person may be most familiar with a house, he will not see any visual forms while in a pitch black room, despite his eyes. Likewise, the disciple may be discerning, yet until he studies, he will not know sin from virtue. When a person with sight has a lamp with him, he will see visual forms, so too through study a person will know virtue from sin. Oh, the reason that if you are the house mom, there's no light, no electricity, you want to go to maybe bring your cup, maybe you don't find, because then there's no light. Yeah, yeah. So, although uh, you're in a house which you know quite well, if there's no light available in that house, uh, even if you go searching for something, you you probably won't be able to get it. Yeah, and the uh, uh, eye of wisdom is like turning on a light. Once you have that, you can get what you're looking for quite easily. Yeah, so without the uh, eye of wisdom, uh, you won't be able to distinguish between virtue and non-virtue, and okay. So if you don't know that, then you won't know like which thing you ought to do and which thing you ought not to do, what you should practice and what you should give up. Let's see. Oh, Jiangsa. Okay, yeah. So okay. down below the the next paragraph underneath that. Uh, yeah. So what ex what exactly is this uh, study? Is this learning that we're talking about? Um, it's like giving rise to. Let's see. It, it gives rise to wisdom, which is like vision. Ah, yeah. It's like vision, like the ability to see. Yeah, okay, so I'll just read this yeah. bit here. So, um, so this is uh, mentioning in the Bodhisattva levels uh, that it talks about the benefit of, of, of study, of hearing. Yeah, you can read the order. The first attitude is to regard the teaching as an eye, yeah, so by yeah. means of which you will develop more and more wisdom. Yeah. Then you should regard the teaching as light, yeah. by means of which the wisdom eye sees relative and ultimate truth. Yeah. You should regard it as something precious that occurs but rarely in the world. Yeah. Regard the teachings as something most beneficial, and through it you will obtain the fruit enjoyed by great bodhisattvas. Okay. Lastly, you should regard it as something completely unprohibited, because it will enable you to achieve mental quiescence and special insight. Still more? My this one this more. Anyway, everybody understand? This is easy, right? Therefore, we have to study is very important. Well, this is a Tsik Tambo Ting Dawares. So this is the commentary that really only goes with the very first line of that Jataka tale quote. Study is the lamp to dispel the darkness of benightedness. <coughs> so now he's going to read some commentary that goes with the next line of that. It is the best of possessions. Thieves cannot rob you of it. Okay. Two is very 
Yeah, okay. So uh, he's reading the line in that paragraph at the very bottom of page 99 or 76, is it? 77. 77? 76. Okay, anyway, I wish I had both books. I did. <laughs> but it's the paragraph that comes after the one that begins a song as Bodhisattva levels, then just the next paragraph. Yeah. Your studies are also the supreme possession that no one can take from you. Yeah. So, uh, thieves can carry off your worldly goods, but they cannot possibly take from you the seven jewels of the Aryas, that is, your studies, etc., nor the good qualities of scholarship, ethics, and kind heartedness. Okay. You better understand. If you very study, you have what's called, what's called? Knowledge. Knowledge, no one check. Even one time in Chinese, uh, they call them one lama. They beat him. You're not refuge Buddha or you. You're not, uh, you don't want to also believe, you know, that karma. Then he said, I really did have very strong faith, Buddha. I really, I believe to, you know, with karma. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, then you cannot take out this. And they beat that. They cannot change their mind. Mm -hmm. During the death, when Tibet they lost their land, you know, they gone with their wants, they just, all they bring, they can whatever they want with that. Their knowledge, they cannot check out. Yeah. If you have any more knowledge, then whenever they have it for you, right? Mm -hmm. Then, uh, do you know the public of doing? If yeah, you... so he's asking, do you guys know what these um, seven, what are they called here, the seven jewels of the Aryas? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I teach this a bunch of Lama Chopa, you know. How many did you teach it? Get it this. We always read Lama Chopa. <laughs> so the first one is uh, the the wealth, the north of faith. If you have very strong faith, no one check out. If you are very not strong enough, then very easy. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, yeah. And then that taping north is north not enough taping north. Taping north. Yeah, so the first one is the wealth of faith. And then Tsutumji north. The second one is the wealth of ethics or ethical discipline. Yeah, and Sumbadi Tubi north. And the, the third one is Tuba Dila. Ah, ah, the, the third one is the wealth of uh, study or listening. And then Sumbadi Shiva, the Tumi north, and the Pajita Jimba. Generosity. Yeah. Generosity. Yeah. Generosity. Yeah. Giving. Yeah. The wealth of giving. And the, uh, which one is this now? Fifth? Sense of shame. Yeah. This is fifth. The fifth one is Mozart, like uh, shamefulness or. Yeah. And it's what? Sense of shame. Yeah. Knowing. So, it, yeah, it feeling, feeling ashamed when you do something wrong. So, some people may do wrong things and they have no sense of conscience, I guess. Maybe you could say like that. Shame is the word they use. I think it, it does mean yeah. shame. Moza literally means yeah. your face becomes hot. Moza. Moza means a rajan kashini. Oh, if I do this, this is not good for me. Yeah. Then Trupa is a triaba. 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 Dread. Dread. Yeah. Okay. Dread of flame. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't often, know often you're Chinese. shame and embarrassment, right? Not true. True, you're fine. The I'm seventh sorry. one, is, uh, sixth one, is not embarrassment so much as dread of, literally means dread of blame. Yeah. Not wanting to be blamed for something. Fear of blame. Yeah. Fear of blame. Yeah. Yeah. Did you all hear that? Fear of blame. Fear of blame. Yes. That's the sixth. sixth. I think we're at six. Five, five and six are very similar. Very difficult to understand. Mm. Mm. Shame is the same. Uh, so the difference between these two is that, yeah, the the first one, the fifth one, uh, uh, the um, sense of shame, is in relation to ourself, really. True, yeah. but now oh, if I do this, some other people, you know, blame me. They see bad things. Yeah. So this the the sixth one, this the fear of blame, has to do with uh, what happens from other people towards oneself. No, so no, the one no, I think I is, if I do this, other people 
see yeah. or think what I did. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah same. Okay. So I think the idea of being like the first one is like your own judgment yeah. of yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's like a conscience is a, a kind of good way of thinking about it. Your own voice that tells you like, oh, you're not good. You know? <laughs> so. And then the seventh one is the wealth of wisdom. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So then if you have these seven wealths, like there is nobody at all who can steal that from you. Everybody needs to this one's more important. Yeah. Okay, Even we have some other things, we have to go somewhere else, other we have to move some other place. We have to live here. We cannot carry that. Also, maybe the customers say, "Oh, don't bring this. They'll be lost." If you have this, this seven quality, mm -hmm. the yeah. seven wealths. Yeah. yeah. Even we go to very strong customer. What is customers. Customs. 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 They cannot stop. At the border. <laughs> border. <laughs> All the customs come yeah. 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 I think you should have lost something at customs once. Really? Yeah, usually I'll be lost in you know, something, but not important. But anyway, even even other any worldly things, their customs stop. Easy to be lost. But even the seven, yeah, the seven wealth, seven, seven worlds, types of wealth. Then no one stop. They, they cannot scan. They cannot see. I thought we go to the we log in here for this skin. So they cannot scan. <laughs> Maybe customs between Nepal and India. Yeah, they can, but then not also this one, they cannot check out. Other things they can, oh, Nepal and India. Yeah. This first hundred, this second, no more hundred. Anyway, they, show, they talk about this, you know. Very important to study. Mm -hmm. More important knowledge is more important. Mm -hmm. Even you know, you Buddhism, non Buddhism doesn't matter. Because it's more important they talk about. Okay. Then after they talk about a little bit, the monks. You know, the monk, monks. Do you see this? Read a little bit there. This monks doesn't need to know what he thinks. You see? Uh, so this. Uh, let's see. I think I'll just read the rest of this. Yeah. Um, even at the best of times, your worldly goods give you many headaches. Yeah. For example, when you go back to your birthplace, which of your possessions do you take with you on your journey? Your studies are not like this. You can even take them with you when you die. So they say it is most important that we, we simple monks should not long for fancy tea churns decorated with brass hoops or for copper pots and so on. We should long for the seven jewels of the Aryas. This is more more clean. English is more more clean. Some words they together don't say they are more. Yeah. But anyway, after that, right? maybe we don't need too many jewels. I'm just okay. <laughs> maybe we just um, in, like when we apply to ourselves, rather than like I don't fancy particularly a buttered churn with fancy grass hoops, but I. Yearn for other well, flat like screen TV, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> car with like heated seats. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then maybe wooden spoons. Hmm? Yeah. 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 Anyway. yeah, thank you, Tipa. Anyway, they talk about whatever, anyway, whatever, whatever we have when the worldly things they can you know just it easy, but what's not is uh, seven. Mm -hmm. Work on there. Seven wells. What is okay? Then, then is this uh, now they start to six Come on, also dungeon. So this is the now we'll move on to the third line of the uh, initial quote, which is it is a weapon to defeat your enemy, your blindness to all things. Mm. This correct. We have always we create non virtue problems, ignorance, right? We think so we are right, but more love problems come, right? Mm -hmm. They show us we don't know the exactly. We do not keep them the problems. I mean, I can, I can, I can. Always 
non-stop problems. Look at the ocean. Come on, that. And then that, then they do that. You know, that thing is simple. That draw So if you uh, do studying, then the let's see, call it sem, so sun 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 cha cha sun cha. Yeah. So then your mind becomes like a weapon, which capable of defeating. No, no, no. Chenangi sem ki draw. Sem ki draw. The enemy of your mind. They meva chayagi ta sun cha chupa des. So if you have, uh, basically he's saying the gist of it is if you have studying, then the enemy of your mind, those bad things that you do, etc., etc., can be defeated, can be destroyed. So the the enemy of the mind is is ignorance. Ignorance is mapun. Mapun. Yeah, the ignorance is like a, is like an army. Mapun. Mapun. Pumbo. 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 Are the general? General. General. Yeah, the leader of the army. Then that child should not be more control. Naja, this one could map map it. Yeah. So then the uh, the anger. Uh, hatred, attachment, all of these things are like the soldiers in the army. <laughs> so he said the, the general of ignorance is kind of sitting back and, and directing all of these other <laughs> afflictions to go out and, and like wreak their havoc. So because this uh, general ignorance and his soldiers, attachment, anger, etc., etc., are uh, going around and doing these things to us, then all kinds of problems come up. We have non-stop problems coming and coming. So this is the enemy <coughs> of the mind, semgi sem draw, <laughs> the mental enemy. Anyway, then you have to study knowledge, then you kill, kill them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're waging war. Okay. Mm. If you don't know why it's ignorance was there, or control was angry, it's not good. Yeah, yeah. Just people say anger is not good. If you don't know, then we say control is nemic. Fault. Fault with the understand with time. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so I'm asking I just asked him what, what exactly why they use the example of a weapon here. So why if if the enemy that's being defeated is this army or whatever, then how is it that hearing is like a weapon? And he's saying, well, if you say, for example, uh, anger is bad, that's one thing, but you, you may not know why. I mean, just hearing that doesn't make much of a difference. Going around and just saying anger is bad, anger is bad, anger is bad, that's not really going to solve the problem. But when you understand the drawbacks, like the faults of anger, then that actually destroys anger. So when you really understand, like, if I do this, then I have this result, or these are all the problems that come with it, and you see it clearly, then that, that understanding, that learning, like hearing all of those faults in classes like this, becomes like the weapon that can destroy the general and his yeah. army or whatever. Yeah, so he's saying that this, this uh, studying is like a gun. <laughs> Uh -huh. The wisdom is like a bullet. Wisdom thing, they all can kick out, right? Yeah. You guys understand? They kill. Yeah. So you use your study to uh, fire the wisdom at the enemy <laughs> and, and eliminate them from your from your mind. And also, draw so many devils are here. Say many many devils there was. We shoot the gun. Guns here, but. They build yeah. for that, they kill. Yeah, yeah. You study, study to hurting his uh, weapon. Then they hear up. 
Yeah, yeah. This dude, he, he said, oh, you know that you're not good, you're not right. Yeah, so he's, he's saying further, like, the reason they say that hearing is like a weapon is because the hearing is like a gun. The gun doesn't actually go out and kill the person. The gun is the means by which you fire the bullet, which kills the person. So in this example, the hearing is like the gun, which stays with you. But the wisdom is like the bullet, which actually seeks out the ignorance and destroys it. Because the was wisdom knows the four things. You know, the inner judgment, anger, you know, the hatred, I don't know, the things. They know, the force. Then they say, oh, you're not good. Then they explode small, small, small. Mm -hmm. Then one day we flee from all that. Then we kill all them, all the animals. Enemies. 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 As, as animals. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Jim. Then it that it takes the water like that. It takes shiva to carry. I think so. I know. If I try to choose a dress, what? Shiva. I don't know. I love just manner of thinking. You try to choose getting into it. That too bad it is. Okay. So this is now moving to the. Let's see which one are we on. The fourth one. I think fourth one. Yeah. So um, it is your best friend who instructs you on the means. Yeah, you can go around that. It is a relative who will not desert you when you are poor. Oh no no you go too fast. He wants to read the, probably the commentary part. Yeah, I will do commentary part. Okay. Okay. Rala Laja Manawatan is a Toji Shota Yendez, Shawa Shila Juk Rampana, Shawa Te Murumada, Ruma Shilu, the Muru and Golu Penenda, Nimiso, not too much about attending Rala Kobos. Just after the finish. After the we the Toja finish. So the study is a relative, that one? No, no. Study is also your best friend who will never yeah. give you wrong advice. The second paragraph, line three. Okay, yeah, yeah. Are okay. they not correct? Yeah, no, it's it's correct. Okay. I was just looking at the next paragraph too okay. fast. So this is the third line of that paragraph that starts, study is like a weapon. Uh, study is also your best friend who will never give you wrong advice. Your former studies will advise you about any particular action, whether this is the right time to do it, how to do it if it is the right time, how to prevent the action if the time is wrong, its benefits, its drawbacks, etc. That's correct, right? If we know whatever we want to do, we knowledge you give us. Right? If we usually we study book, we study book. If one day we forget book, when we go there, then if we doesn't study here, then we forget we don't have book there. You know, the best for the knowledge, knowing. Yeah. Usually we give you know, I touch, iPhone, computers, <laughs> give everything. <laughs> but you have to know in here. Yeah. I want to you broke your computer, if you touch, iPhone, <laughs> then you don't know how you do that. Then if you know here, then they say, oh, do this, do this, do this. We need the knowledge. We use knowledge. Yeah. We use uh, wisdom. Therefore, it is a uh, best friend and uh, your knowledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tuba. Tuba hearing, right? Yeah, hearing, okay. but yeah, I guess it's good to point out again that the term that we are translating as study uh, is actually tuba, which means listening or hearing. So, anyway, we say study. Yeah, this yeah. is like a used probably because way, way long ago their yeah. books were very rare. So you had to remember everything. So I think he's saying we should do that too because when you forget your iPhone or your you know, computer, then you need to be able to know. Yeah. Right. Okay. Even we, even we, you know, books, the material things, you know, they custom, they stop. So I'm going to do too heavy. Even books, sometimes in customs, if your thing is too too heavy, you know, to the weight is too much, then you have to take some things out and leave it behind. So. One time I went to North Carolina. They are in very bad situation, you know, the Nichols who are airport. Liquids, yeah. You know, they, you know, Bill George, maybe you guys know. Yeah. Kishore yeah. Adwars Their the family, I think the Christmas chain or something. They give a lot of things for me. <laughs> to bring back? Yeah, they give, you know. 
some liquor things. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. some homemade things. They said, oh, can I do this? They sent to the table. I put all of them in my bag. <laughs> I come to the custom. They check, oh, what do you have this here? I don't know anything. Strawberry jam. You can check. He said, just check. He saw this. He doesn't say anything for me. Drop, drop that. Oh. <laughs> Checked out. But some cookies made it through, right? Uh, I don't, I don't have this. I, re I remember some cookies made it back. <laughs> she remembers the cookies. I, I remember the cookies from Bill Judge's wife. Yeah. I'm, Delicious. I'm not sure what they threw out. You didn't get any, huh? <laughs> they, 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 they threw out a lot of things. But they, I, so I didn't get the jam. There was no jam. Or they didn't no. say me what's the reason. Not anything. Oh, you cannot bring this. Just put the oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, trash. Oh, so not everything made it through. Okay. Therefore, you know, he, other things possible they can check out, but, but in your, here. your wisdom is not. Now, therefore, we have to study it's more important. Okay? Then they say, well, Lama Ishiko, they have some yeah, yeah, so uh, then there's this line here. My own precious guru told me while well, King La Lama Yeshio oh, yeah. was in prison, he became more and more determined. This was because of the advice he received from his, <coughs> his companion, his former studies. So this is about Zhuang uh, Yeshu who was imprisoned. I'll just add this in. He didn't say this, but he was imprisoned by uh, some, some Muslims like Karluk people uh, in the east or west of Tibet, far west of Tibet. Uh, and uh, while he was in prison, he was able to continue to keep up his spirits because he had all of this learning in his mind, although he had nothing else with him. Okay. So, best friend. So, best friend finished. And what what the next one? Yeah, relative. Oh, yeah. So this is the next line. It is a relative who will not desert you when you are poor. Yeah. This we can be know, right? We are very successful person. Good. We have a lot of relatives coming. You are poor. You are not success. Then relative doesn't see this one story. One after right? yeah. Okay. Tell you want to watch Should I read it? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, I think he's talking about the paragraph after that. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So before the great sacred Lin Rinpoche became the tutor to one of the Dalai Lamas, there was a time when he was poor. He met an uncle of his on the road who was going off to do some trading. Sejo Lin Rinpoche said something to him, but the uncle spoke as if he did not recognize Rinpoche. <coughs> After Rinpoche became the Dalai Lama's tutor and occupied one of the highest positions of authority, the uncle went to see him and told Rinpoche that he was his uncle. <laughs> and also other one? Uh, once there was a man who started out poor. Uh, not one person claimed to be his relative. Then he made a little money from trading, and many people later came and claimed kinship with him. He summoned them to have lunch with him. He placed piles of money at the head of the table, and then he recited the following verse while he prostrated himself before the money. A man who was not my uncle became my uncle. Oh, lovely piles of money, I pay homage to you. In other words, you cannot trust even your ordinary relatives. Everybody understand. This is easy, right? This is really happen. This is, I don't know, in here, in Tibet and India, this is always happen. If you have more power, then you have more reasons. If you are not, then forget it. <laughs> I think it's the same people everywhere. People win the lottery. All of a sudden, they're afraid to put the name in the paper because everyone is like, "Oh, I knew you from 20 years ago." <laughs> All people call yeah. because they want some of them. Yeah, they are. They they shows they shows you pretty studies. Huh? <coughs> always there. Yeah. If you poor, if you rich, always there. You guys understand? <laughs> okay. Then then what? Then after finish. Then let's see. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit so, more. If we must seek out long-lost relatives, why not seek study, contemplation, and meditation? Okay. 
Uh, and then, by the way, in Ketzan's Lamrim, the last line of the above verse, so this is the verse I think the, um, the man recited to the piles of money, maybe? Yeah. Oh, my meal ticket, I pay homage to you. <laughs> but the version I gave is exactly how my own precious guru used to tell the story. Okay. The the yeah, so the next one is, uh, it, it is a medicine. It is a medicine against sorrow that does you no harm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, in the world, like in ordinary medicine in the world, you might have medicine for like a fever, for example, and you take that medicine and it might cure the fever, but usually there is some slight, you know, side effect you have to put up with, some little bit of harm comes to you also from the medicine. But this uh, medicine of, of listening, of hearing, of study has no side effects. It's the best medicine. <laughs> this is also a uh, so this is similar to your your best of friends who helps you. Want, you. you want to fight huh. others. This is your best friend. Okay. So what he just said. <laughs> that means you know we have to who you fight. You fight to non virtues right? Mm -hmm. And if you know how you fight, then. Yeah, it's like your okay. it's like your buddy that stays yeah, yeah. there with you. Your big big what's the big body guard. <laughs> <laughs> like Christ. Yeah. Okay. What is big body guard? I mean, you know, that 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 you should do this. Then you know, you are very famous. You want to be very famous. Whatever you want, this is the best one. Right. Six. Six. So far, that 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 you should do this. Ah, this is the double double assassin. The main, main court. Okay. Uh, so the bodyguard was the seventh one, arming to dispatch against your enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next one is the best store of fame and glory. The supreme form of fame and glory. <coughs> yeah, okay, good. Yeah, okay. Just matching the... Yeah. So we're, he's reading the commentary, which is that paragraph just after which I read. <laughs> Study is also a medicine for delusion and an army to dispatch against non-virtue. It is also the best store of fame and glory, the best reward to obtain from holy beings, the best way to gain respect from scholars. So I think that's actually covered the last uh, three verses. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, it covered the last three verses in that little paragraph. So, the la yeah, last three lines, sorry. Uh, so that covers... Um, it is the best task force to dispatch against your misdeeds. It is a supreme fund of fame and glory. You could have no better talent when meeting gifted people. You will impress the scholars in any assembly. That's four, 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 yeah. Four sorry. <laughs> So he's repeating again the same commentary that's on the that I just read to you actually. Um, that uh, if you have if you're in this fight against uh, ignorance and all of these uh, all of its uh, soldiers, then this this listening this study is an army that you can dispatch against that. Uh, it's also the storehouse of fame and glory, and it's the best reward that you can obtain. And if you are in, among the assembly of great scholars, if you have this listening, this study, this learning, then it's also uh, the best way to gain their respect. So. Anyway, your knowledge is very important. Yes, anyway, the main, main, main point that they talk about, knowledge is very important for the study. Even you want to practice Dhamma 24 hours, that first you need to study. Otherwise, you don't know. You just keep there in the room. 
you put your mind and your body put gel, stay there. You don't gel, you know. They don't change anything. Samson. Thomas Samson. Samson? Yeah. They don't they don't beat, but they can you know, flow Oh so. like a, like solitary isolation or something? <laughs> and then, okay, then you can choose the words like Kerablayan, you have the other quotation. Okay, so also in the Jataka tales, whoever has studied will develop faith. He will be steadfast with delight in excellent, uh, and will delight in the excellent. He will develop wisdom, have no benighted ignorance. It is right even to sell one's flesh to obtain it. <laughs> So uh, this is the next line uh, below. You will develop faith in the good qualities of the three jewels through your study. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and because your belief in the fixed laws of karma, you will have you will be happy to modify your behavior and so on. You will come to understand the faults of the first two of the four truths, suffering and the origin of suffering. And if you want to uh, you want to pay cut your mm -hmm. body, you have to buy. You guys understand? Mm -mm. If if you can get some get some study or listening and the price for it is giving some of your flesh, you should buy it. Right now, we don't need to pay this kind. Therefore, good opportunity study is more important. You don't have to make sure you buy it. Then, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to that. Yeah, okay. Then, therefore, Jasset Dawa, he, he, he listened to four verses. He gave, he often for one verse, uh, how many? One thousand. One thousand uh, gold. Therefore, we don't need to uh, pay, but we have to study the important. Okay? Yeah. Should I read this? Yeah. That's pretty, pretty harsh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we are told it is right to cut off your flesh and sell it for the sake of your studies. But now that you can study in comfort without having to mutilate your body, you ought to study as best you can. The above verse was given to the Bodhisattva, Prince Chandra Vilingalita, uh, uh, one of Shakyamuni's former lives, after he had hammered 1,000 nails into his own body for each line in the verse. <laughs> That's a lot different in this version. Yeah. <laughs> I think what Geshe-la said was, Geshe-la said that he had given 1,000 gold pieces. That's what the 2007 version says. What does it say? Same as you. I think they probably used different Tibetan editions. You know, to make, create these. It says that after he had offered 1,000 gold coins for each line in the verse, as opposed to pounding nails. Anyway, yeah, his says Ser Song, which is like song is a measure of money. And Sarah's gold. gold, so he gave golden song. <laughs> yeah, it's a measure, measure a measure of, of money. So, yeah. Anyway, why he give this money? If he doesn't give that, that the teaching teacher teacher doesn't give teaching. This is not no Christ. He need to more merit. He need more what's that? Oh, yeah. We need more merit. They are he often for them. Therefore, also we have to. I'm not saying we are to support all this our center. It's more important. Also, we are not a charge for the free, but you have to always support. Even if we are good right now, mm -hmm. it's our center. When everybody walk together, everybody support is more important. Then. Uh, of course, uh, we get more merit. If you spend, you keep donation, this is not going to war. You know, it's a war. War. Oh, war, war, war. war. 
Usually we have to pay tax. We have no choice, right? Everybody, no, no one say, I'm not fat to pay tax. No choice. We have to take care. We have to give that. We have not much, what we call it. Senna to the Mudua. We don't have much. Senna. Senna. Miserliness. 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 Because they, they, they didn't take. Also, sometimes they use the word. Yeah. We don't know where they're going. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you put here, Hundred percent, they go to verses. Versus, right? We check it out. Then, uh, previous, previous life, previous time. Mm-hmm. Uh, you all, you guys, support. Also, until we die, we have to support the same order. Also, it's a benefit for other centuries or our mm-hmm. Do you guys understand it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he's saying, like, uh, you, for example, taxes, you have no choice. Those are just taken from you, whether you like it or not. If you are working here, they take out your taxes. And out of the taxes that they take from you, you can't control what it's used for. Some of it is used for war or for things that you might not agree with. On the other hand, the support that you give here at the center, the offerings that you make for the teachings here, 100% of it goes to the center to support and sustain this place, which belongs to all of us. And that's uh, by giving that accumulates merit for yourself, but also it sustains something for people in the future. It benefits other sentient beings. It benefits yourself. It's like these kind of ideas that he's talking about here. Yeah, so therefore, I must say you guys doesn't do school enough, but... Yeah, I think he's not trying to say, give me some money. I think he's, <laughs> I think he's, he's trying to explain to you what the function, but aside from like monetarily, of course, there's an immediate function of having the funds to run the center, but also there's the spiritual and like kind of karmic function of accumulating merit, benefiting yeah. beings, making this place available, other people come here, the teaching spread, etc., etc. So... Yeah, but also everybody can come to membership. They say, oh, I have membership for them. Also, more comfortable. Yeah. You know, therefore, the center sent to emails then. <laughs> Don't have it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys got it? If, if the center sends you a bunch of emails, don't get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> One part is more, we have good opportunity to more merit. Yeah. They're not uh, just uh, the center director, they're workers. Uh, they're all the right. They're, they're working for all of us. Therefore, also we get more credit. Okay? And then, okay, then how many you, and then that's like that. Mm-hmm. How many you studies, you tend, you have not uh, more religions, right? You are more uh, young, young. After that? Yeah, yeah. Studies, can... So the depth of your studies determines how many times you have to contemplate. This number determines how soon you will develop insight through your meditations, and in turn you will come to have wisdom. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, I'm okay. I no, I mean, uh, mm-hmm. Sasumba, no, Sasumba. Yeah, yeah. So the third Bodhisattva Bhumi, the third Bodhisattva stage, uh, is correct. The Jamchutsamba Dela Tuba Tizomi. Dela Tuba Chela Tanda Kodi. Tuba Chela Tio Paris. So if the. It doesn't say, okay, no, I have yeah, Bodhisattva, yeah. I have enough to. Yeah. So the Bodhisattva doesn't say, like, when they reach the third stage or something. Oh, now I'm done. I'm done studying. Like now, I can quit doing that. Like, yeah, I've got enough now. So. Therefore, we have to study is more important. Then, then, not much there to see. No, they talk about some teachers, uh, students. Anyway, if you more, here yeah, you know, maybe twenty, thirty people. We are not same wisdom. Some has big wisdom, some has small wisdom. But even you know, they can for cows. Mm-hmm. Horse, then uh, no, no, sheep, mm-hmm. horse, then maybe big truck. Then their own thing, Kenny. Mm-hmm. They were for us, you know. 
most scholars, some of them have more study. Even the raw ones, raw ones. Anybody else, they have to do something. Can you guys understand? Mm -hmm. yeah, there's so capacity. That? Everyone has their own capacity. So. Okay. Even sheep and horses. Yeah. Well, no, this is an example. I yeah, think example. this is the... the Tibetan, you know, they, they carry down the Lord. Pama Kabodone. The Pedila. Pama Kabodone. The Lord. Lord. The Tekpasun. The Tekpasun. The Look. 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 So this, I think this metaphor or, or simile or whatever it is has its origin in the the um, Lotus Sutra. But anyway, he's saying the capacity of, of people who can do different things uh, are like different types of <clears throat> like animals that carry loads. So like a sheep or a goat or a horse or an elephant can carry different types of loads. So in the same way, a person of one capacity, like the we have the three scopes, for example, in the long rim, the person of one capacity is capable of like carrying a certain load in terms of what they study, what they understand, and developing a, a commensurate type of wisdom. So like pack animals or something, you know, each of us is able to do a little bit more or a little bit less. So you work to your strengths, like kind of your capacity that you have. Yeah, yeah. So uh, in in general, uh, there are various many various types of of practitioner yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, in, for example, in the small scope of, of practice, there are a number of different things that are going on there. There's like death and impermanence, and like the uh, precious human rebirth, and uh, karma and its suffering, you know, those types of things are going on uh, in that scope. You need all of those all together, but you go through them little by little, you know, according to once you get one of them, because you have the wisdom coming from that one, then you can move to a, a, a larger one or a more intensive type of practice from there. So you go by your capacity as you learn. Include. So each each of these, every single one of these pieces is included in the path. If you do one, always do it. You doesn't do the other things. Lula, if you want to sleep, you are very comfortable bed, but you don't have blanket. Right? Yeah. Okay. Same as <laughs> Can you guys understand? Yeah. No, he's saying like the if you if you are doing only one thing and not doing the other thing, if that's the way that you are considering the practice that you're going to do, it's like having a very comfortable bed but no blanket on it. So you have like you know one part of it is there, but the other part is missing. So he's saying, like, all of these things belong together. I'm asking him, what connection does this have to the pack If you really high brother, you can do high ones. If you really low, you can do low ones. If you really low what's that? knowledge, you want to jump the high one. It doesn't work. Then that's like the bed without a blanket. No, no, no. This is, this is, this is, this is however knowledge you have, you have, to, you have only to do. To do. Okay. Bed without the blanket is the completeness. Yeah. Yes. So I think maybe there are two things he's mentioned yeah, here. Yeah. One is the completeness, that like you need all of the practices, and the other one is saying, but you, you have your own capacity, so do what you can do. Don't expect to leap from where you are now to something which you can't do. You, so there's nothing to feel ashamed about if, like, you know, death and impermanence is what you're going to do, that, you know, what you're capable of really focusing on, and then some really high thing like the emptiness of all phenomena or something. You know, if you can't do that, don't feel bad. You work to the capacity that you have, and little by little, as you accumulate the wisdom or whatever, the verse that he that had here was, let's see, the depth of your studies determines how many times you have to contemplate. This number gives, determines how soon you will develop insight through your meditation. In turn, you will come to have wisdom. So this is 
the Buddhist theory of learning has to do with study, like listening, reflection, thinking over the things that you've learned, and meditation. So those things all follow one after the other. You can't build one without the other. So however much study you have, that determines how much you have to contemplate what you've learned. And then the based on your contemplation determines your meditation, like how the meditation will go. So I think that he's saying here, like it's not a, a case that you have to be the highest level practitioner or whatever. You can do the small things and remember that these things are all, you know, connected <coughs> together. So, Even though you, just you can memorize this uh, subject. Yeah, yeah. subject. The outline. All that, just love them. <coughs> to memorize. Then you can think of all the second third justice. So he's saying, well, I think he's giving that as a, an example of a type of, uh, like we are talking about learning, but remember in Tibetan that actually means hearing or listening, and it has to do with being able to retain like what you, what, what's been taught. So he's suggesting, why don't you memorize the outline of the Lamrim? And he said this last time too, it's only like two or three pages. You could memorize the outline, and then at least you have like the structure of the entire Lamrim in your mind. Then you don't have much term, then you can just, the moment that you can recite one term, it's all good, you know, perfect, good, you know, communication. Okay, anyway, that's that. We we'll stop here. You have maybe one or two questions. Yeah. Um, Geshe-la, in the Chanchu Lama and Shemmo, I think first, in English, first volume, maybe seventh grade chapter, the chapter about um, refuting misconceptions about meditation. Mm-hmm. So Nkapa says that if you say now is the time for meditation and now is the time for studying, you're wrong. That that's a wrong attitude to separate a time for meditation and a time for study because they have to be simultaneous. Or And I was wondering if you could speak to that. What is that? Which, which text? So he's saying like, uh, I don't know if I... Yeah, so he's saying that's correct, but uh, what did you say? Tusum? Two, two samba, 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 gongsum, yamatawa. They're all together. Yeah, they're not, they're not uh, separate. Mm. They're all together. First you have to err. To, then you do thinking. Then you meditation. Without hurting, you cannot meditate. How are you think? What are you force to meditate? Mm. This is correct, yeah. Two sum, gongsum, yamatawa. So he's saying that they can be, they can be divided. But I think it's uh, maybe a little bit different than what you're saying, like the Tango Tuba Gore. Then it's Sambore. Then it's Dila Chik Tango Niva Sumba. So he's saying it's not the case that you think, like, today I'm going to listen and tomorrow I'm going to meditate. It, it's not like that. But these three things are like are sequential in the, in the fact that you can't reflect unless you have something to reflect on. I think that's the point he's trying to make. Like they're sequential in a way because really you can't have something to think about unless you've actually put something in there. And the way that you get something in is to actually learn it. So. Yeah, I just wanted you to speak to the relationship between meditating and studying. This wasn't and for you. Yeah, well, no, I just wanted Gesh- to have Geshla speak a little bit more about the relationship between meditating and studying, that's all. Yeah, if you if you don't study, then how you, you can't think about it. You have nothing to think about. If you if you haven't thought about anything, then you can't meditate either. <laughs> you don't have anything. You don't have anything to meditate on. Yeah. So he's saying like it's impossible to divide the the three: uh, listening, reflection, and meditation. They can't be separated. And I think. He's he's trying to say that's what the point of that section is. It's not that they that they don't happen sequentially, but that you can't actually separate the three from each other. Okay. Thank you, Geshe. Geshe, um, 
Okay. <laughs> Keshla mentioned the seven jewels of the Arias. So um, I actually have two questions. One is I'm just curious, uh, the seven jewels of the Arias, how that relates, or if I miss something in the text, whether it's specifically relating to this part of um, liberation in the palm of your hand, or whether it was just extra that Geshele gave us. And then the second question, maybe start with that one. Okay. <laughs> It's the best of, where was it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's the best of possessions. Oh, possessions. Okay, so it's so. the possessions, right. Okay, and then the next question was, what was the next question? Oh, yeah. The next question is to do with the number six, dread of blame or fear of blame of the Arya, uh, jewels, seven jewels of the Arya's. So when we study the eight worldly dharmas and we have the praise, blame, pleasure, pain, and then one of them is often, um, does it say it, praise, blame? And so in that teaching, the eight worldly dharmas, we're kind of taught to like, whether you have this or whether you have that, you know, keep your mind happy. Actually, I think I'm maybe answering my question as I express it. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you but didn't understand. yeah, and um, I had a question. <laughs> I think maybe I have to think about it a bit. I think, well, to me, it sounded a little bit like, um, like, like when you have the eight worldly dharmas, praise, blame. You don't really worry too much about either. You just try and settle in the in a kind of more equanimous place with, like, be happy, whatever's happening. But here we're taking, if you're getting blamed, yeah, yeah. that this is something, uh, I don't know, you kind of have a different relationship to it, maybe. Or yeah, I, yeah, okay, so... Yeah, I think there's a different, different relationship. Jitan should get... Yeah. No. Jitan, that number the trouble if, if you need to, the, what's that? I mean, the world it is, also, mm -hmm. you need to study. If okay. you need to, all the things are good on them. Famous. Yeah. You have to study. You are not study, you are you not coming. You know, it's two of Kosome. Two of Kosome, no one different. You know, the Pape not doing Nala. The Korea, Tuba. 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 The name Tuba mean Korea, the Mota Jela. Mota Jela Korea. Sure. Uh, Tio, Tio. Tio, Tio. The name Tio, the Pape not doing Chikra. The name Jitin Chigi Nala. The name Tio drop a Chigi. Um, I, don't know, I don't remember what. Jiten Chigi. Jiten Chigi, know what? I, I don't remember them all. Yeah. <laughs> the eight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, but anyway, but one set of the eight is the praise blame. Right. And, yeah. and so that's definitely be, one set. It might be different though in the so, Tibetan. Oh, that's different. true. There's different, different renditions, so, I know. I think maybe they're not that. But one is when you get, when you yeah. fear of someone. It's a question of bad motivation. To you. In, in the eight worldly dharmas, your fear of blame is to do with your ego. And with the other ones, fear of blame is like, you know, if you're a monk or nun, yeah. if you do something wrong, it brings the sangha into disrepute. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or if people know you're a Dharma practitioner, but you're doing something weird. It sort of tars the whole Dharma. So it's, yeah, yeah. it depends on motivation. Yeah. In, in, in the context of the eight worldly dharmas, it's attachment to praise or blame that is... That, that is the non version. There's a version. Part of it. A version At, right. Attachment or aversion. Attachment to praise and aversion. Attachment to praise and aversion to blame mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. the non virtuous aspects of it. But in this context, the, 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 the embarrassment, I've, I've heard this term uh, uh, also translated as embarrassment, yeah. which is right. that you are, it's a good quality. It, 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 it actually comes a part of the virtuous set of 10 yeah. uh, qualities, yeah. which is that, that you are concerned about. How your how others are looking upon your actions in a positive way, so you want to improve yourself as a way of as a way of preventing yourself from doing 
things that are wrong. Exactly. <laughs> so not so as a way of, oh, you want people to not think... Not as a way of to covering up Covering your, up, or you want to think yeah. people are good, you're good, but more of a way of practicing Dharma. Yeah. yeah. I think it's... So it's there's a think, quote from the Buddha, he said, there are uh, monks, there are two things that keep the world um, on an even keel. What are the two? The shame and fear of blame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is important. That's quite from Buddha. Yeah, so if you have no shame... Oh, just now, it's for me. <laughs> 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 so Geshe Lai is saying, like, uh, if you have no shame, you'll do anything. You'll do anything without shame. Yeah. You don't care whatever they say, whatever they yeah. think, whatever you want. If you don't have the, if you don't have the fear of blame, then also you, there's nothing anyone else can do really to to prevent you from doing it either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, I think so. We do things in the bathroom and we wouldn't do it in public. Okay. Anyway, I think so. The question is more clear. Yeah, it's clear, right? Is it clear now? It's definitely, I need to think about it a little bit more. Yeah. Well, it's good. Fear of blame and aversion to blame. Probably another okay. point of difference. Very good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Gashila. I always talk too long. No, no, no. We love you. Off to